and uh, he'll be looking to repeat that right now. And gate number two is the best gate on the evening, so um, uh, he's in the box seat, as it were. Not too much to choose between the gates tonight, and that's always good to see. Yeah. So uh, good race track too. Yeah, and it's been uh, really entertaining stuff. So congratulations to everybody concerned here. It's been a terrific Grand Prix after a smashing Grand Prix three weeks ago in Warsaw. Here we go then, riders out on track for the last time. The grand final itself. And uh, it's been dramatic, it's been tense, it's been exciting. We've had uh, clashes in the first turn, we've had a little bit of everything. Certainly it's been uh, immensely entertaining. And I do hope that uh, you have enjoyed it and a big, big final to come for, to conclude the night. Let's hope that, that uh, it lives up to the action that we've already seen uh, this evening. What a turnaround for Leon Madsen. This really is a, a huge improvement in his performance at, at the highest level. So the lineup then for the final is uh, Leon Madsen on the inside in red, Martin Vasilik alongside him in blue, Bartosz Marslik out of gate number three in white, and Jack Holder off the outside in yellow. It is quite remarkable how he's turned it around. Yeah, he's had a fantastic night. He's uh, really... That relationship with his engine tuner, I think that's paid dividends to bring him along, Brian Carger, and it certainly seems to have taken the pressure off Leon. But I've got to ask you, Kelvin, need a prediction from you. I want one name. Uh, Leon Madsen I'm going to go with uh, on the inside oh. gate. I would have done that. Martin oh, Vashley was my favourite for the night, so I'll go with Martin. Yeah, the inside gate's probably just the favourites, but uh, there's no doubt that uh, the riders on the outside would have their part to play. Here we go. Just settling down now for the final time this evening. Well, we hope the final time this evening, because we have had one or two reruns this evening. But um, uh, no doubt that uh, these four riders will be hoping to get away cleanly. Bartosz Schmarslik really laying it on the line, coming out of turn two in the opening lap of his semi-final. Wow, Robert Lambert didn't know what hit him. Just couldn't believe it. He just literally kept pushing, didn't he? Yeah, he just wouldn't yeah. let it lie. Here we go then, the last time. The grand final in the Marquetta. SGP round three, the conclusion. Here we go. Away they go. Martin Vasilik has made a superb start. Leon Madsen tucks into second place. Bartosz Marslik slipping back to fourth with Jack Holder coming through into third. Martin Vasilik, well, that gate number two has worked a treat for him. Here comes Holder into it. Bartosz Marslik going to have to run right round the outside if he's going to make his way onto the rostrum. But for Martin, Martin. Vasilik out in front, looking for back-to-back -back victories here in the Marquetta. Yeah, Martin Vasilik out front. He's not going to move too far off that line. There's a traffic jam behind him all the time. Smarzlik's winding it up, but he just keeps losing ground every now and again. But he's going to keep plugging away for the entire four laps. Indeed he is right now. They're all just queuing up behind Martin Vasilik. Leon Madsen there. Look at Smarzlik. He's in a different country around the outside, but it hasn't worked so far. We're into the final lap. Here in the Marquetta Stadium, Martin Vasily. Wow, what a moment this could be. Leon Madsen just coming on strong. One last chance through the last corner. But the night is going to belong to Martin Vasily. What a victory that is. Oh, he'll be over the moon with that. Two on the trots. Yeah, absolutely. Back to back wins. That really is stunning stuff for Martin Vasily. He came into the night's round in seventh place. He won't be when he leaves, that's for sure. And many congratulations to Martin Vasilik from Slovakia. Effectively, his home Grand Prix. He has ridden superbly well. The night started quietly for him, but he has turned the style on in his ladder races. Leo Madsen, much more like it from him. Jack Holder on the rostrum again. Two consecutive Grand Prix with Smarslik just missing out in fourth place. But Jack Holder, consistency, fantastic from him. Yeah, Smarslik plugging away, still another result considering he hasn't had a good night particularly. Yeah. Good to see Leon Madsen back. But Martin Vasilik, he sat on these terraces as a child watching Tony Ricards and Jason Crump, Greg Hancock, those guys. And now back-to-back -back GP wins here in Prague. Yeah, and he won two Grand Prix last year. It was just injury that really just curtailed his uh, opportunities for a medal. But uh, on the evidence of, of this, 
Certainly he's now going to be uh, putting himself right back in the top six. When you look at his nights, he had a, a second, a third, a second, a third, and he had to win his last heat to make the semi-finals. Martin Vasilik, what a win for him. Congratulations, Leon Madsen, much more like it from the world number two. Jack Holder, as you say, consistency, second final, second time on the rostrum, and Bartosz Schmarz at the championship leader. Misses out on the rostrum, but nonetheless another final. And 14 world championship points in the bag. He'll move on to 50 world championship points after three rounds. But Martin Vasilic clearly overjoyed, and rightly so. Yeah, not the most exciting race to finish with, but boy, have we had some excitement tonight. And uh, Martin Vasilic just going about it in a workmanlike way, made a perfect start from gate two, just didn't move off the line. Leon Madsen threw everything at it, but there was never going to be a way that Martin Vasilic was going to let him through. Schmarslik, how hard, he will have never worked as hard as that for zero points in a race, but uh, fourth place on the night. To be honest, the night he's had, I don't think he'll be too disappointed with that. No, I tend to agree, but uh, for Martin Vasilik, uh, he showed great maturity within the evening, hadn't won a race prior to his fifth outing in the qualifying heats, but then uh, managed to do that, moved on to nine when he was under pressure, and then moved sweetly through the semi-final, and what a start it was. It worked a treat, he clamped Madsen on the line. If Madsen had got away, I sense they wouldn't have seen which way he went. No. But that man did the hard work going to the first turn. That is one of his major fortes. And all of a sudden, the club and the team